Lots and lots of eyes on Pennsylvania this evening as some of the bigger races in the country unfold. And one of those is the race for our next governor here in Pennsylvania. Republican candidate, State Senator Doug Mastriano, going up against Democratic candidate and current, uh, current Attorney General Josh Shapiro. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz he is live at the Penn Harris Hotel in Cumberland County, East Perrinsboro Township, where Mastriano will be holding an election night watch party. She's got a closer look at the race and tonight's event. Yeah, Evan, that's right. Pennsylvania hasn't picked a new governor in eight years, but of course that changes tonight. Now, Doug Mastriano won the Republican nomination easily in the primaries, but he's going into tonight as an underdog. He's been pulling behind his Democratic opponent, Josh Shapiro, for much of this general election campaign, and the margin between the two has only increased in these last several weeks. Now, we'll see what happens later tonight when the numbers, of course, start rolling in. Mastriano's watch party here at the Penn Harris Hotel is expected to kick off at 7.30. For now, live in East Pennsboro Township, Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News. All right, Alyssa, thank you. Mastriano's opponent, Josh Shapiro, has been polling very well over the past few months, and the campaign is hoping those polling numbers are an indication of what the final vote count will be tonight. I'm going to head now to Montgomery County, where Fox 43 Sean Stryker is live at the Josh Shapiro party. He's got the latest there. Evan, the stage is set. The lights are on and the final preparations are underway for what the Shapiro campaign and really Democrats across the state of Pennsylvania are hoping is a big night. A win for Shapiro means the Democrats will hold on to the governor's uh, mansion for at least four more years. As you said, those polling numbers are very favorable to Shapiro, but those numbers are just numbers. And today, the vote count, the final vote is what matters. And of course, the entire state will be watching them as those numbers start to roll in. Reporting live tonight in Montgomery County, Sean Stryker for Fox 43.